Hello friends, uh, welcome to this uh, webinar on uh, designing the Google form for online examination. This is the third video of the series and this video is prepared with an objective of with an objective of helping the educators, teachers, helping the educators and teachers to design the online quiz, examinations, etc for their classrooms. So this is what we have understood in earlier two videos. We understand the importance and usage of Google form to collect the registration or data by small businesses. In second video, we understood how do we use Google form for the purpose of survey or filling up the questionnaire as a researcher. And as I discussed, Today we are going to discuss about the usage of Google form to conduct the online uh, to conduct the online examinations or a test or a class quiz for educator, teacher or a faculties in a school and colleges. So these are eight different features which a Google form provides you for online examination purpose. First, we'll understand those features on this PPT and then we will have a hands-on how do we use those features. To begin with, auto-release of score or marks or a point. That means you need not to calculate the marks, scores or a points, whatever you name it, but you need not to calculate it manually and Google itself provides the final score to your students or whosoever appear for that exam or test. Another facility is Google helps them to identify in case if they missed out any questions, then Google identify that this question is yet not answered. So that is under missed questions. Also at the end of test post submission, Google also shows them with which answer, were, uh, which answer was a correct answer and what was the answer that he or she ticked one. So the students are also getting the correct answers at the end of the quiz that to subject to if you want huh? all these options are available for us. If we want Google will release this point value or a mark score. This is what I said. You can put a different mark score. I mean, you can you can uh, show your respondent, your students that what is the mark score for each question. Suffer option order. I mean, if for every question, if in case, let me assume that we are providing four different options. So you can internally shuffle those four options. I mean, for one student, it will be shown as ABCD. For other student, it will be shown as BCDA. The third students will get a different option order. So even if the students are sitting nearby each other, there are very less chances that they can copy from the others. Similar to shuffling the option order, you can have a facility of shuffling, uh, shuffling the question order as well, which we have understood during the last video. Then move, moving on to compulsory questions. You make the questions compulsory and students need to answer those questions. I mean, again, it is facility for us whether we want to make it compulsory or not. If you don't want to make it compulsory, it is up to you. Different point values. I, it means in case if you want a different marks for different questions. I mean, some questions which are relatively easy questions, you want to provide them with one marks. Some questions which are a little bit more difficult, you want to give a weightage of two marks and some questions which are very difficult, you want to give them a weightage of three marks. So even Google facilitate you to have the different marks for different questions and you as a designer of the form can design for which question, how many marks you want to provide them. And lastly, customize theme or logo that will make your quiz more legitimate. We will see that what is the use of each of these eight different options available to us. In order to understand, sorry, in order to use all this feature, what you require, you just required one Gmail account. So there it goes, it's a Gmail account. Normally, once you logged in, it will looks like this, this is your inbox. Now from that inbox, click on that Google app, click on the drive. It will open up a drive like this. While I mean, after opening the drive, click on this new, clicking on the new, get into more in that 
in that you will get an option google form and select the blank form in earlier video we have understood what would be the importance of this uh, form from a templates and it is useful to whom let me start with the blank form so once you click on this black uh, sorry blank form th this is a kind of a form you will get it will have untitled form then first questions then you can add the question by clicking this button this is a button which will add the questions uh, now say for example my quiz i want to name it as pm quiz right so i have some questions already designed uh, so what i will do is i will not design this question now so let me just delete this question because i already have one or two uh, questions okay so what i do uh, what i does I, I i prepared one question uh, and uh, uh, suppose who is our present prime minister and i have provided them with four different options please don't don't enter into the complexity of the questions at present and my option was to make it compulsory if you remember these are the eight different facilities which we are talking of so we will take it one by one so one of the facility was compulsory question so what i can do is by by ticking over here now this is not compulsory but when i click on this required that means now the question is compulsory for me my another option was shuffle uh, option order uh, the another option i mean the another facility which i has uh, which i have was shuffle option order so what i'll do i'll just click on this and look at this shuffle option order that means for every quiz i mean every time these four options will not be in the same sequence sometime option number b would be option a or option b would be sometime option d so it will shuffle automatically so that is another facility which we talk of then we were at different point value point value and all that we will see later on so now what i'm I, i'll be doing is i just simply prepared one google form put up a questions with some options now this is yet not a quiz it is a simple google form so let me enter into the setting clicking on the setting i can see three different options general presentation and quizzes let me click on quiz so by quick clicking on the quiz look at this this option is not active uh, i mean make this a quiz is not active so what i'll do is i'll first activate now once i'll activate you can see that all the various options which are available with this are now open so the first option is immediately release marks release a score release point immediately after each submission if you want your students to get their marks immediately you can just click on this button in case if you want the marks to be released after a certain period of time or you want a manual review of the marks you can just click on the letter after manual review uh, let me not enter into this part as of now so i want my students to get their marks immediately after the uh, completion of the quiz another another few options which i has i mean which which we have these are uh, missed questions so this is this is presently on that means in in case if a student miss out any question will not submit the quiz that will immediately pop up to their uh, uh, laptop desktop or uh, to their mobile phone i mean smartphone that the questions are still not answered some of the question are still not answered so i tick mark on it that means students will get the notification of missed questions similarly correct answers in case if i want to show students which was the correct answer of this question i keep it open that means at the end of submission students when that will happen only at the end of submission rest assured so students will come to know the which was the correct answer and lastly point value so that will show that to every student that for every question how many marks are allotted as i said that you can allot different marks to each question as well so presently how many uh, benefits which we have identified we have identified immediately submission we have identified miss question we have identified correct answer we have identified point value so out of this we have understood what is miss question correct answers and a point value as well as auto release of the score so first four options we have already identified i mean we have already understood we have also understood what is the shuffling of the uh, option order what is compulsory questions now we will move on to the different point value but the major and now let me just click on this save 
Now, major question arises: How would Google understand? How would this form understand? Then, which is the correct answer out of this four? Right. Though it, the answer is very popular, who is the present Prime Minister of India, but machine will not understand unless and until uh, you will provide them with the correct answers. How do we do that? Here, you you can see that there is a there is a, a key. Uh, which mention as answer key earlier it was not so when we click on the quiz answer key is not now available so let me click on that answer key when, when i click on the answer key this is what they provide me to tick mark the correct answer so i know that the present correct answer i mean the correct answer of present prime minister is mr narendra modi so i just ticked on mr narendra modi so now my system will understand that the correct answer is mr narendra modi and this is a marks value so here presently it was zero marks suppose i want to give them one marks if they answer these questions correctly so i i marked it as one marks or one point and now let me click on this done that means now look at this answer key you can see that narendra modi has a green tick that is a correct answer and for this question there is only one mark say for example my another question is who was the first prime minister of india right so as we know that i mean the correct answer would be jawaharlal nehru so what i'll do is i'll click on the answer uh, key clicking on jawaharlal nehru but say for example for this question i want to provide them two marks i i assume that this question is little bit more tricky and i want to give them two marks in case if they'll answer this questions correctly so what i did i just marked it as two marks and click on the done button so my quiz is completely ready right now you can keep on adding those questions in case if you have and uh, uh, we we understood out of this eight features we understood seven features auto release of the marks miss questions correct answers point values shuffle order compulsory question and different point values so for one question we provided one marks for other question we provided with the uh, two marks and now the last one customized theme or logo now i want to make it more legitimate to my students Uh, they should feel like wow it comes from my college or my school only uh, so normally that legitimacy will come from applying the logo so i want to keep the logo of my institute in this google form so that when it reaches to my students they will feel like wow it comes from my institute it comes from my school and they feel it more proud of this so what i can do is there is an option called customize theme so by clicking that customize theme you will get an a, 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 a option choose an image for header so let me click on that choose an image now there are some ready made images available you can choose any one of them rather i don't want to do that i want to apply my own logo my school's logo or my college my institute's logo or my college's logo or university's logo so what i'll do upload it click on a browse it will take me to my uh, uh computer let me this time I I I I I I I am sorry, but I am using a, uh, this logo of a Google. I feel that Google will excuse me for using this logo. However, I am just using this logo of a Google, and this Google's logo is already with me in the system. I just click on it. Let's see. See, this is how it looks like. So this will show that your your questioner. is from google here you can put your college in institute university's logo and just clicking on this preview you can see that how this form will looks like to your responder this is how this form will looks like right so it seems very legitimate because it seems like this form comes from google assuming that google is my school or college okay uh, so this is this is what is the the basic features now very simply you can just uh, you can just click on the send button by clicking the send button you can either send the email if you have the list of email or in case if you don't want to send them as a email but you want to give this link so you can either copy this particular link you can even short on this link and then copy it send it through whatsapp or through any social media to all your students ask them to click on the link once they click on the link they will be redirected to this particular quiz and they can apply to this i mean they can answer all these questions to this quiz now only problem that lies with this entire system rather not exactly the problem but only an additional aspect which every teacher faculty or a professor expects and that is 
normally every examination every quiz are time bound that means it has to be completed in certain given point of time in a case if you want to analyze the timing aspects manually for you video is over at this point of time you can move out of this video and you can take your quiz by manual time management but i don't want to do that things i want system to manage my time so i want to get rid of manual time management and i want to understand how system will do it for me so let us understand how system will manage the timings of the quiz for you so let me go ahead in order to manage the timings what you require is you have to have an addons called uh, the addons for the timers and these are some steps which we require to follow up we'll first understand the steps in this ppt and then we'll again have a hands on for the steps starting with first select an addons so uh, when you click on this uh when you click on these three buttons you can have the list where you can select the addons this is where the addons are uh second step is install an addon called timeify.me so timeify.me this is what the symbol of the timeify.me addon we will see that how we can add this i mean we will go with this installation of timeify.me there is a two step procedure to install timeify.me then once the setup is successful you will get this kind of uh, symbol in your google form let us see how it works again let me go back to uh, practical hands on for this uh, yeah so just click on this step 1 click on add ons when you click on this add ons you will be redirected to <coughs> uh, this is the g suits marketplace google's marketplace it is available for everyone and from that try and identify timeify.me now there it goes this is the timeify.me so just click on it now unfortunately my system already has the installation of it you just click on it when you click on it it will ask you for here i my system will show me for uninstallation but your system will show for installation click on installation it will ask for next next button twice this is it's a two step procedure and once your installation is completed you can see this add on button over here which presently you cannot i mean you don't have that present button i mean if you have not had added any add ons this button is not available for your google form but once you complete that two step procedure this button is available to you and once this button this symbol is available to us we should understand that we have successfully set up the add ons that means we have completed the step number 1 2 and 3 we started with addons install timeify me and setup is successful now we move on to we move on to other few steps now you need to go to uh, you need to visit browse the timeify.me that's the website you need to visit because just by adding the addons you cannot do these things first you have to uh, uh, connect your uh, google form with that timeify.me so the next step is browse through timeify.in joining or i mean join now or sign in if you are first time user you have to go for join in once you create your account then you can go for sign in let us understand step, step number 4 and 5 and again we will be back to this ppt so let's let's have a hands on so i have just open up this timeify.me and there it goes you can either join now or you can sign in because i have not created the account yet so i i need to go ahead with this join join now or else you can directly click click over here sign in with google right so it will drag you to yeah there it goes so it opens up my mail id so i will mention some of the details which it requires and uh, will go for the registration process so i can use this for uh i mean uh, for my further purpose right so yep there it goes i okay so it goes for setups now please do remember this link ha huh? this is very important one just copy i mean just uh, select it and copy it it is very much required at the time of configuring so what we did we have already 
gone through step number four and step number five. We browse through timeify.me and we join uh, that timeify.me. The next step is configure this Google form with your uh, Google form with timeify.me using this token. Did you remember we had copied one link? So that link is nothing but timeify.me token. So how do we do that? Let's again go back to my form and let's take it up. Uh, okay, so like click on by clicking on this add on button, I can get it timeify.me. When I click on the timeify.me, when I will be clicking on this timeify.me, it will uh, ask me to uh, configure this timeify.me with my Google form. Uh, it, it takes some time because we have just uh, put up our uh, account with Timeify. Okay, so there it goes. Uh, I can see that configure. So configure, let me just click on that configure. So because this is the first time I'm configuring, look at this paste your timeify.me token here. So this is something which we have already copied. I am just clicking it, pasting it over here and press the connect button. So by pressing this connect button, I will be now configuring timeify.me with my Google form. And I did these things. Enable add-ons for this form. Clicking this, it will enable the add-on for this Google form. So I'm just connecting the timeify.me with my Google form. Okay, and there it goes. It is now successfully connected. Once we get this information, that means it is successfully connected with. Now, in case if you if you go for any changes in the form, if you make any changes in the form, say for example, now in place of this untitled form, let me write down PM quiz. So I made one change. So every time you make the change, what you are, what you are required to do is you have to configure this timeify me again and again for every change that you make. However, for second time, it will not ask for the token. Now it understood that you are already have registered. You just need to click on this, click to synchronize Google settings with timeify.in. So once the process is over, this uh, uh, blue dots will be out. And yeah, there it goes. So now the process is over and your form is available with timeify.me, right? So let us go back to our slide and understand the next step of the procedure. So what we did, we browse through, we configured the form. So now your quiz is available, but where you can see your quiz, you can see your quiz with timeify.me. I mean, you have to visit the websites and your quiz is available on that website. It is now connected. So click on create the, now let us visit the website and we will go through this step number eight. Click on create the test, add email ID and select the timing for the quiz because we have yet not selected the timing for the quiz. So let me go to this. I mean, let me visit this uh, time if I, yeah, there it goes. Look at this. Now you can see uh, PM quiz huh? because uh, we are we are already logged in. So we can see this PM quiz and I click on create a test. When I click on create test, first it will ask me is an email ID. So say for example, I'm just putting up, say for example, one of my another mail ID Okay, so and not to worry about this email ID has nothing to do with the quiz. This is just an email ID required for connection. Now, now comes to the timer part, right? So these are two questions. According to me, uh, uh, anyone requires two minutes or say, for example, let me have only one minute, right? So this is one minute I have provided to my students. And now this option is very dangerous one, critical one, however, very important. Auto claw, uh, I mean, uh, closing this form automatically when the time is over. It means if a student is not able to answer within that given time frame of one minute, the form will get closed automatically. So I just stick on it. It show me some, I mean, it show me some warning that really you want to snatch away this form. Yeah, we want to. And another option is allow to view the quiz score at the end of submission. I'll keep clicking on it, create. So now my Quiz is created. Look at this. My email ID is there. Quiz is created. Quiz has a one minute. This is a quiz score available. 
and this quiz is available now i'll just click on copy url that means now i have copied this url and now i can share this url to any of my students through whatsapp or through any social media through email anyways you can just share this this uh, uh, url to anybody please understand that it is not necessary only this email id can appear for quiz no anybody can appear for this quiz whosoever has this url so what i can do is i'll just send this email id to one of my students through whatsapp or through any other and when when the students will click on that url then directly it will open up this i mean this is how it will open up the the form so this is the instruction students can read uh, that this quiz is for this mail id having one minute only and this instruction is given that if you are not able to submit then the form will be automatically out so after reading this information your students will click on the form open the form see look at that this is how the form looks like and you can see the timer at the top of the quiz right so this will show that now only 45 seconds available with the students and this timer is moving towards zero the moment it it, it enters into zero the the quiz will be automatically snatched away from the students okay so this is the mail id i mean you can use i mean you can put mail id or the name of the students their roll numbers enrollment numbers any any information which you want to put the student has to submit those informations so information submitted for example i pick mcdon first here also i pick mcdon first and because now 12 seconds are left intentionally let me not submit this uh, click on the submit button let me show you whether this the quiz will be snatched away at zero seconds or not look at this there it goes sorry time is over that means now this quiz is no more available with my students he should have submitted this quiz he should have pressed the button of submit before the time gets over so this is how this is how your student has to be on the toes because exams class quiz are always something which are essential and which are time based so you can set up your timings as well in this google form while you are designing the quiz so with this i rest for this should you have any query feel free to connect on this contact details i i suppose i assume that this video would be very informative for all those educators teachers professors who are taking or planning to take online quiz for the students or online examinations for the students be it the semester examination be it the class quiz this video would be helpful to all of them thank you thank you very much if you if you really like this video i request you to subscribe to uh, to subscribe to my youtube channel that is hiran patel for education and research and you will keep on getting this kind of informative and interesting videos in future as well thank you thank you very much